Greetings everyone, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport, where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. I couldn't understand them, you know. Are you? I was running over when I'm starting. He goes, you need help there? You need help there? I couldn't understand them. This was at the Exxon station? Shell. Shell station over here? Yeah. And he puts air and charges you five bucks for air. So it cost me seven dollars. Which is like kind of weird because we breathe air to live. Well, no, I know all that shit. But they charge you for air every place. So they're cheap. They're a dollar. But he tried to do it for me. He did charge five dollars. So screw this. I'm going to clean that again. Yeah, I sure, I sure hope the other one gets fixed at the Exxon. You get up there and it's still not. No, no, I gotta check it because I gotta. I'm, I'm kind of due to check my pressure. Must, I think my tires are overdue to be checked. Where's your girlfriend again? Not here. How long's it been? She's good. You know, driving here, driving here by the school, the crossing guard points and lectures me that the stop sign is a little further back because I did a I did a rolling stop because I if I don't stick the so front stop you and came over to talk to you? No, she's pointing, this is a Spanish girl, a crossing guard. She's, she says she lectured you. Right? Yeah, well verbally from my window is open. So it's like I told her, I says if I don't if I don't stick the front end of my car out, I can't see who's coming by. I says, I'll be, I'll be sitting there. How long do I have to sit behind a tree where the stop sign is? Oh, you're supposed to stop. You You know what? Everybody's a wannabe state yeah. trooper nowadays. Every, you know, like a mall cop. They're the worst. No, I mean more uh, um, security, mall security. Which they did a comedy at. This hurricane's going to be horrible. Yeah, you see all the other ones behind it? Yep. It's going to be the worst. The, this is the biggest evacuation in U.S. history. And you know people... Did you know are, that? Oh, yeah, without a doubt, because it's, it's going directly for the Carolinas. No, for, I mean, the biggest evacuation yeah. in U.S. history. But you see those those knuckleheads that we're interviewing? Yeah. The whole bunch of them want to write it out. Well, I know, that's always common. The whole article, USA Today had it all right. They talked about all the tragedies. And they're what like, they're and, and they're talking nonchalantly like, like it's some ordinary storm. Mm -mm. Oh, we're just gonna ride it out. I got my supplies. Yep. All right. It's nine to twelve feet. Wait, think water coming in. You know, you know just, what happened to the idiot? Just for just because those people are stupid enough to ride it out, I hope it does become a category you five. Know what's happened to the idiot? You know? Oh. Oh, you mean, um... Well, who else could I mean? Yeah, no, no, I gave him a nickname. I thought of a good nickname for him. Let me try for to... him? Oh, that idiot. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant the moocher. Minnie the moocher. Um, 
The cigarette moocher. Oh, he's a pest. Yeah, pestilence. Oh, you mean the pathological liar that looks you right in the eye. Mm -hmm. This has to be almost a week and a half, right? Seven, eight days. That the 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 Irish hoarder vanishes. What the hell does she do? I wonder all day. Maybe you think she's that messed up that she doesn't want to hear people tell her the truth that she's she really won't, she runs on fear she won't buy anything with her own money she only eats if i buy her something think about it maybe maybe she didn't get the the the, the medallion blessed she's afraid i'm going to yell at her which is true i will i am going to scold her own fear. My sister told me <clears throat> you use discretion in who you give special gifts to because most people don't appreciate special gifts. No, I learned that the hard way. No. I oh, went, her? I right over here. I went right over today. Uh, no, the other one. I, I, she didn't help me. The other one did. I can't. I can't hear I can't her. Hear her. I, said, I, I, I stood there. I said, I didn't hear anything. I said, you got, I said, you got to speak up. Well, if you're taking care of the general public, you really have to no, speak up. Know. Please don't know. Can you imagine if she was a gatekeeper at the front office of a corporation don't and mumble. don't mumble, just speak up. Yeah. Everybody else says, "May I help you?" With a smile, you don't even have to smile. Just speak up. I wonder what Moron is doing. Let me tell you something. Um, she'll get an earful if she didn't do any of the things we advise her to do. So then she belongs in a padded room for the rest of her life. She needs a lot of help. Yeah, you know she needs electroshock, like like Frankenstein gave the uh, in the bolts in the neck. A lot of help. I think they do have a. a well, I haven't mean, seen you in a long time. Yeah, well, not at school starts. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that was you all over there. Hi. Right. Now, I meet a lot of great people. Oh here. yeah, that was my two buddies. They were the pilots from that plane a week or two ago that blew the tires. Oh wow! He said, Billy, that was I said I knew it was you right away. <laughs> I said I knew right away. Yeah. He said we had to circle for five and a half hours. When, when we used to have CNN, they didn't turn the volume up. Well, for Ellen DeGeneres, they turned the volume up. I did. I turned the volume up. Yeah. You couldn't hear it in the morning. Said, Come on, man. Oh, my God. I like her. Oh, my God. You don't like her? I don't like raspy voice people. I do. I don't like... I do. Also, you didn't like Janis Joplin at all. I liked her. Well, Janis Joplin was very talented. I, I was raspy as you get. Rod Stewart is raspy as you get. Hey, if somebody like Tiny Tim mm -hmm. made the Tonight Show, anything's possible in America. Learn something in school, okay? <laughs> Learn Good something. Good to see you, okay? Have fun, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank -bye. two sisters I met from the Dutch, from the Netherlands. Huh. The one is with professional photographer for what she photographs fetishes you want to see all her work i'm like wow she goes i'm in art galleries all over the place and this wow one. yeah those kind of photographers they have a really good eye for a great photo She's good see the people i meet are the photographers uh, a lot of pilots I meet a lot of people over there. Yeah, this, this one guy, back in the day when you had to buy film, he, he taught photography in Hackensack, um, one of the adult classes. He, he says to me, I buy Fuji film and Nikon is my favorite camera. She gives you a big Canon. Canons are good. Canon, Nikon, Hasselblad, Rikon. And How's Minolta? They're good, right? They're all good. Let's be honest. They're all good. Now, with the high megapixel digitals, forget it. 
my brother-in-law gave me a Sony 18.3 megapixels you should see the the vividness of the colors well, I'm pissed about that air though I don't like being taken for a ride you know that pisses me off so hey, this he, time I'm gonna say no no I'm, I'm okay I he should have actually told you well he did but I couldn't understand with the mumbling or the Middle East accent he probably got his side that but yeah I couldn't hear you could have got you could have got a fairly decent amount of food uh, somewhere for five bucks that reminds me when I was in, in a resort in Venezuela when be, way before Chavez and the waiter says how would you like some of our special bread that uh, the that, 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 you extra for it exactly how would you like sir how would you like some the Indians used to bake this I go really how would you like now that sounds like you get you go to Venezuela well Margarita Island it was a package who? Who went with you? Vern? No, no, it was um, Maggie. Me and Maggie went. Well, that was after Vern. After Vern, yeah. That was in the early 90s. It's by, uh, near Aruba, Curacao, the Netherlands Antilles. Well, meth Antilles, they call them too. I like to say Antilles because it sounds like you're Antilles. It's a very dry island. Like these people, they're from the Netherlands. Yeah. Well, it's all, it's all cactus. People think it's like tropical. They said, oh no, the Southern Caribbean, we never get hit with hurricanes. And it's dry. She showed me the photo of her sister showed me. She goes, that's me. Totally topless. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Crap. Damn, you look good. Well, they're very, they're very uh, open-minded about things like nice. in Europe, Europeans. You know, to them, a nude beach is... How about no football? Did you watch that last night? Yeah. Yeah, to them nude beaches are nothing, the Europeans. They say all oh, you, you Americans are hung up well, on it. Yeah, you know, it's it's you're right, it did get warmer. Yeah. Every time there's a story you keep talking. I said, Stop it. Listen. Yeah, when Wolf Blitzer talks, keep quiet and listen. Everybody, you know when it, you see me doing this, I'm watching somebody. Don't talk. A lot of people talk, they talk. I like Don Lemon. He's on late. Chris Cuomo flows into Don Lemon. For, for Reed is really a smart guy. He's, I think he's got a book out or something or a web special website. For Reed, it's uh, I think he's on Sundays. Frederica is Saturday. Can I tell you complain about the news when you, you talk over it? I stop talking so much. Oh, please. Now, if somebody had Fox News on, then then Fox is not news. That's not real news. No. It's not news. But you sh you'd be surprised how how many deluded Trump supporters think the world of Fox News. How many don't? Most most normal people don't. Four million in Trump lost by, so he did not win the election. Oh, I hear I hear his popularity is sinking. Constructive pessimism. I says, you know, if if you if you didn't, if you're not willing to. No, let's get to the point. I tell people right away. I had an argument with Joe and shut him right up today. You're something. Big stupid remarks can never back them up. I said, okay, hot shot. Your wife left you. Your one son just passed away. Your other son, Darren, will not talk to you ever. I said, I want you to sit there and you tell me what's good. <coughs> Couldn't answer. I said, what are you, what are you, are you following in lies and an ostrich, you're burying your head? I said, what's good? He just sat there, you know what to say on the, you know, in the car. I told Jack, he said, he's a moron. I, that's why I, said, I don't start singing everything is beautiful. Oh, God. Bullshit. I said, oh, what's good in the world? Oh, my God, that's so. The song. tragedies in the world, I said, you tell me what's good. He couldn't answer me. Can you tell me? No long spiel. What's good? 
Aside from us being alive, nothing. Well, I, don't, I don't like that. So don't anybody give me that. At least we're alive. No, no, I'm saying nothing. I can't think of anything. What's good? I'm nothing. thinking. Of, I'm thinking of what happened. Until we're falling apart, the world has never been so messed up. It's getting worse. Healthcare is getting worse. Everything's getting worse. Well, Everything. Don't, ever, don't say things are now, fine. Look what's happening in Syria now. Now, oh, it's been happening for years. He's already killed over five hundred thousand of his yeah. people. Climate change is causing. That's pain. one thing I will agree with Trump about. He wanted to have Assad assassinated, which I said long ago should have been done. You got like. Climate change is, is creating worse storms than ever before. You married? You didn't get married yet? Married? Oh, leave the poor no. kid alone. No, don't do that. When? Next week? <laughs> Wait as long as you can, okay? Yeah, to about 75. Okay. <laughs> 75. Your brothers and sisters all good? Will you tell them I said hi, please? <laughs> Tell them I send my love to them, okay? Thanks. Uh. Huh? He's right there. Yeah, there you go. Did wow. You find him? Wow, look at that. Look at that knapsack he's got. Look at the size of that bag. Look at that. It's nice looking, too. They get too much homework nowadays, the kids were telling me. That's a nice looking ca um, backpack. I'm sorry. Karen's doing that for sure. Oh, that's right. My my brother Scott unexpectedly dropped in this weekend. Mm -hmm. His wife, that does absolutely nothing and wants his the money from his business, made him sleep on the boat for a few days. amazing the guy the guy pays all the bills he's the breadwinner she does nothing and he's got to sleep on a boat well I said Scotty you sleep you slept on the boat in the cabin cruiser because you allowed it all to happen you uh, yeah you know the old ring in the schnozzle look what you married you met on a website uh, yeah, Miss Green Card Scammer. Uh huh. And then she. And the one out in. Uh, and then she. Sand, and, and, and then she booked it after she got her green card. Right. And the other one is a nut job out in San Jose. You know, or yeah, but but Billy, when when we when we used to, well, when they, when there were club when there were nightclubs to go to, I met a lot of people with issues back then too. I didn't. Well, that's because your your voice is magical. I met, like my parents even said, my God, you've always had wonderful women. No, because you... I don't tolerate bullshit. Yeah. See, maybe that's it. Your honesty drove all the nuts away. A lot of people did say that. They said, I don't sit a chance with you, do I? I was like, I don't want to be rude. No one, no wonder why I told this one person from Rockland County, New York, how it how it really is and because i told her off she still contacts me and, like if i was a wimp, would you tell her how it really is i gotta hear this oh, oh i lowered the oh, boom i lowered oh, the boom I bet she lowered the boom probably kissed her ass Boy. no no you know why i lowered the boom no at age in her early 50s and she looks pretty good because she's philippine she really really looks good great I, she wants to adopt a child, oh, and I says, do you really want teenager problems when you're 80 years old? Honestly. That's not lowering the boom. That's making sense. Because by the time that child is a teenager... I know she's going to be 80 and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know that. Right. Well, it's stupid. I'm just telling you. want a child that age? It In case any spirits are listening, I want them to hear it. Well, they, they're hearing it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they hear, trust me. Uh, she could, then she later she tells me, well, the government will, will give me five hundred dollars a month to, to adopt. I go. That's not the way that you do it. That's I go. Why, you do it. why? Why is the government giving you five hundred a month to adopt? I don't know. 
I says, she says, well, we're, for that reason, we're not compatible. I says, you think I'm going to get up early in the morning to take a little kid to school every day? It's like when Ralph Cramden says, online. Oh, right. You and your fucking on the line. Well, I don't, I don't go anywhere. Where am I going to go? I got to take care of mom at night. So what do you say? Why am I going online? How's that any better? Well, Trump goes on Twitter all the time. And he's a whack job. <laughs> Come on, man. No, Michael Avenatti's Avena on Twitter. He's not on that much. Ralph Nader? No. no he's he's on every Trump. day, all night. No, was it one or two little tweets or whatever? But he makes a lot of sense. That's the difference. Well, but he's got to now because that's kind of faded out. Nobody talks about Stormy Daniels. Anymore. No, he's off Stormy Daniels now. Now he's on Michael Cohen. And yeah, well, he's just criticizing. They're not clients. No. Ralph Nader is on there, uh, Bernie Sanders, Brother Sanders. How many smart people aren't on there? Can't be bothered. They're on there, but what they do is they, they, they post real heavy-duty articles and videos. No, and but a lot of them don't. I forget who it was I heard the other day. You know. And they don't even... They don't even text, just like I do. I, I don't subscribe to anybody who's a, who who's talks stupid. They said I have no desire. I said great. Like the, there's this one person who. Don't think she just. I wonder why they switched to this. She yeah. just posts cute animals. Oh, it's four o'clock. Oh, 9/11. Is it is it September 11th today? It looks like it's been all day. Oh, I don't know. Wow. Where have you been? September 11th? I didn't even know it. Uh, Jesse Ventura was saying that the military industrial complex used 9 11 as an excuse to have non stop war. Jesse Ventura. Said, no, said what did? What complex? The military industrial complex used 9 11. What, what military industrial complex? The establishment that makes money off of wars, war profiteering, uh, that makes weapons. Well, no, it creates jobs because they have to make more things, of course, during wartime. I mean, that's obvious. Yeah, but they, they continue the wars non stop. No, I don't believe that. You don't think our country is that evil? No. All right. No. You do? Then why? Because I think I think capitalism is satanic. Okay. Buying low and selling high is 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 is, is of the devil. Oh, you stop! Listen to you. Well, it's not ethical, at least. My friend Jimmy says, what is it? Capitalism? Capitalism is satanic. Is he right? The oligarchs. <clears throat> oh, my phone's going off. It's not yours. Well, what else did you say? Oh, you, your friend's here. Um, oh, about the 9-11. Where were you on 9-11? I was in my, my, my dad's master bedroom in Ridgewood. I was changing his diaper. Ridgewood, New Jersey? That's where I, I live. I, I just rolled out of bed, and, and my significant other, my ex, says, Guess what just happened, James? Yeah, yeah. Come, hurry up. Come to the living room. Yeah. I was in New York. I was in Lexington Avenue. I was parking. I was going to work. One of my buddies was in the building. He was down on the subway. Oh, yeah. my, my friend's car had, was stuck. He had to take... Um, he had to take the ferry boat back to Jersey. He had to leave his car there. Everybody had some story, right? Yeah. But you know what I do remember that the media tends to ignore? I remember the, the Muslim community in Patterson, New Jersey, jumping up and down cheering. I saw it, and it was Patterson. They saw it. I saw it in the newspaper. They had him on. Somebody took a picture. Like Main Avenue. People were jumping to go on the rooftop of the building. And they mixed it up in the news when Trump said that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Trump was wrong, but he was right. He used to say Jersey City. He said Jersey City. City. I said, no, he has the city wrong. It was Patterson. You know, they were dancing in the street. And when they said they were in Jersey City, too, in Jersey City, they have a, uh, I, don't, I wouldn't say very large, but they, they have a. Yeah, but the thing everybody heard about was Patterson. Everybody talked You know, the Patterson cops kept the, the blacks in Patterson from yeah. attacking well, and beating. They told them to stop it right now because they're going to get the shit kicked out of you to keep this up.
Oh yeah, they told him that. that, that there, there was a mob ready to beat the crap out of him. Or worse. If I was a cop, I would say, I don't see nothing. Uh, but, but, or you want to beat the shit out of him? Go ahead. It's, it's, it's our leaders' fault. The politicians' fault for never doing anything over the past 50, 60 years of just allowing anybody to come in the country, you know? Especially in these... Especially these cultures who don't want to assimilate, right? I think you have a lot of them. They're the only ones that will work the jobs. Yeah, right. The white kids won't do the job. Now how did how did Giuliani end up being farmers, a hero? Most of these farmers make their living over the immigrants working their yeah, fields. Yeah, sure, yeah. So what Especially do you do? California, what do we, what, um, yeah, where do we draw the line? Area, yeah. you, know? you know, they abandoned the farms and the crops rot, rotted away. Yeah, what are you going to do? These, that's all you can hire. Well, what they have to do is limit uh, how many they can hire and how many people they can let in to work. Well, right? they do. They only pay so many. They, they, yeah. they're not hiring everybody. Yeah. They're, they're hiring true. what they need for the day work. Right. They should. They should have a system where they can do that. Well, they right? do. They hire what they need for oh. the day. Oh. Yeah. There's like office cleaners, gardeners. They don't just say yeah. everybody come in. No, they say, I need 50 the, men today. I need this many. I need this many. All the landscaping <laughs> work. And all. all well, sure. Year. So who's without? So what? In my town, I see them. Who's yeah. going to do it if they don't do it? Yeah. Yeah. They can work in that hot sun too. You can do it. I mean, you see in Florida. See everybody bitching. How can they work outside? But who else is going to do these jobs? And none of you two will answer me. I don't know why, but who else will do these jobs? No one, no one else. American kids won't do it. Americans so won't answer. At one time, maybe long, many, many, many years Listen, ago. But last, last, um, working in that in the heat. Last July, I drove with a friend to San Diego, to Cabo San Lucas, the whole length of the Baja Peninsula. I saw Mexicans working, doing road work in a desert, out in the open Sonora Desert. Jackhammers, blah. They'll, they'll do all just about any work. Yeah, but yeah, they, they yeah. work hard for yeah. their money. Yeah. But they were able to take it. But we, people bitch. That's not the point. Yeah. The point yeah. is people bitch about them, but they're the yeah. only ones who'll do it. Yeah. If you don't have them, yeah. the work's not getting done. That's right. So what is the answer? It's, 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 some, some it's not just it's, it's not just migrant farmers. Yeah. It's 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 office cleaning. So we know uh, that. But we're saying the jobs that they were willing to do, the whites won't do. Landscape. They have to have some type of vetting. System where they could screen people who's coming in because you don't know what terrorists are. Coming in. But you're never going to stop it. Water. You'll never stop it. It was just in the news. Uh, this what I, I read it this morning on online. A hundred, a hundred people from Bangladesh crossed the border. They were, they, you know, they, they got, they from Bangladesh, what border? That, that's, a, that's a Muslim country. How they get over here through the Mexican border? Can they? Yeah, I was reading on the hundred. You know how many corporations are out. Associating to Bangladesh to exploit those poor people for low, low yeah. wages. So what's the answer? Everybody, please vote. And but what's that going to do? Oh, uh, be dis use discretion when you vote. No, but what's it going to do? How's it going to change the immigration status? They have to vet uh, the people who want to do what's wrong. How do you do that? Look at what's happening in Europe. They can't even still work. Look, look at how Trump fucked up with all these kids ripping them out of their mother's arms. So how do they? How, that didn't work. And ICE is abusing those kids. No, ICE is not just do it. No, ICE, ICE, ICE. Yeah, nothing. What's the answer? We that can't was, even run our VA. Come was, on. That was going on during the uh, Obama administration, too. It's just that they never did it. It wasn't new. It wasn't this bad. Yeah. Remember when FDR put uh, Japanese Americans in concentration yeah. camps? That was the one mistake, big yeah. mistake he, he made. Yeah. But they weren't mistreated. The loose no, camps, they had cookouts and everything. They, 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 they were treated. No, you're right. You're right. Well, come George, on. It, was, it was like a gated community. Yeah, these were, yeah, it, had, it was a community where the fence were. Wow. Internment. It was yeah. not like Auschwitz. Let's mm -hmm. put it that no. way. Okay? Yeah, they were. George Takai. Yeah, how many, how many people in those internment camps were gassed? None. Experimented upon by medical doctors. The German camps? The German camps, God knows how many thousand. Dr. Mengele. You know, so really, you know, you want a comparison. Come on. Yeah. George Takai from Star Trek, his parents were in that camp with him as a young boy. Who's that? George Sakai, Sulu. Sulu on Star Trek. The guy that played Sulu. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened to him? His parents oh, were he, in the internment. Oh, oh, he was? I didn't know. In that. the internment camp, sure. But the point is, there's no comparison. Oh. They weren't mistreated. No, no, not. Uh, 
Uh, these I heard poor, they had dances and parties on the weekends too. Yeah. These poor, you know, they, but they were treated well. There was just a fence around it. They all they wanted to like keep a the big, Japanese uh, contained. Like a big Japanese town, like they call yeah. Chinatown, right? Yeah. Like China, Japan, so they had a fence around. When it was going on in Japan now, they, every every other month they're having a disaster in Japan, right? Oh, bad area. Like there was earthquakes. Yeah, they had an earthquake. Now they have a flood. They have this. They have that. So what do you think we're having here? What happened? What do you think we're having here? Look what's coming. Yeah. Several, several hard cases. There it is. Here it is. The Carolina. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Here it's it is, guys. Right here. here. Strongest hurricane going there in many years. You know, you know, no people. Huh? Yeah. You know, normally. August is supposed to be a bone dry month. Dry. I haven't seen a bone dry it's August. Rainy, uh, summer, right? Not a lot of rain this summer, right? More than it's one. Been a hot, rainy summer. You have to read the USA Today has a phenomenal article on all of yeah. how we are not prepared for any natural disaster. Yeah. And they listed everything for what this country entails. Now we have That's a lot of flooding areas in New Jersey area. Oh, they just they can't sell their houses. Little, uh, what about what? Wildfire. Yeah, what's that town that far on 46? Uh, Wayne, Lodi. Little Ferry? No, Little Ferry's over here. Yeah, Wayne, Lodi. Yeah, the other one, Little Falls. Little Falls. That's a, no, mostly Wayne. Wayne. Wayne is the bad Wayne one. Is all could, could you imagine buying a house and not realizing that you're in a flood zone, then you can't sell your house? Yeah. My that's brother's that's suck. What happened in, in Little Falls? Uh, people haven't gone selling homes. They want to buy a who wants to buy in a flood zone anyway. Yeah. They should live in a houseboat and tie the houseboat down yeah, with a cable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But then, who knew? You know? My brother can't sell his house in Bricktown by Point Pleasant because when when Sandy hit, he had water. He, the whole first floor was flooded. He had water all around his house. He can't sell his house. So you guys should be. You guys should be listening to this. Cheers. I, oh, I heard it. This the Carolina. When's the last time they had a big hurricane? Last year. <clears throat> yeah, every year, but not this. Nothing this size ever. Yeah, they have a hurricane season. But they got several back to back. Look at that. Look. That's just one. Yeah, but not not the others behind this one. They want to ride it out, these people. Forget it. They ain't gonna work. It's your time, it's your time. What a dumbass thing to say. It's the largest evacuation in U.S. history. You know when Andrew, when Andrew hit South Florida, they, they said that the, the prefab homes were tied down and nothing, nothing's going to happen. It wiped them out. It wiped them out. In Puerto Rico to the Caribbean. Remember yeah. that, that hurricane there? I mean, all they need is to get another hurricane. They'll be, they'll be through. You know? Well, they already lost how many yeah. people that moved to Miami. The, the insurance companies got tired of paying out. <laughs> well, homes, I've been to Homestead. It's an agricultural, uh, there's migrant workers. Oh, there's a smoking guy. And they're high crime, too. Because uh, uh, migrant workers. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. I go to Kissimmee a lot because I have a, a leaf corn timeshare. Timeshare. Yeah. They go on vacation, uh, vacation home. And, uh, I, you know, time I have it. I go to Kissimmee a lot. Yes. Oh, you know, during the cold area. Okay, but it's still nice. My aunt, my aunt and uncle from my aunt and uncle from Maryland, they had a condominium in Florida Keys, Marathon Key, by the Seven Mile Bridge. The Keys. They had to, they had to sell it. My daughter asked me, she was back, why do you want to go to, uh, to our camp? Everybody's leaving. 
And I said, well, you know what, sweetie, there's people down there that need our help. Right now, the team is preparing to be in what they're calling a quality environment. Oh, boy. Rescue boats and team members trained to keep operating them. You're going to reposition us and get us in the area of where the storm is going to hit. Florida. And then Florida. once we're in that Kingston area, they'll probably move us to wherever they need it. We're going to be on the shore. shore. I didn't think they had a sinkhole issue here. Florida? The whole state is one giant sinkhole. They said it's sick. They said it's only a matter of time. They say Collier County, where Fort Myers is, all of Florida, is the best real estate value going. Maybe it's all of Florida is peppered. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. The whole thing. Whether it be the city or it's, it's it's somewhere else, the guys in Lake St. Yeah, I know. Just want to help. Too many people keep happening. No. It's not. That's why the Burmese pythons are, are in the air. And you have the fire ants down there. You drive people nuts. You have to exterminate all the people. That's bullshit. They're invasive. You don't need that. Fire ants from South America. No way to live. The, the, you know how the pythons became invasive? Hurricane Andrew uh, busted them out. They were in a zoo. Her, yeah. Now they're threatening the Florida species. They're eating the alligators. They're so big. The smaller gators, yes. Yeah. There. Now you're talking about 14, like 14 feet over. They're over 10 feet full grown. It's bad. Yeah, yeah, I get that. You bet. You're good to see all of you. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.